Countries across the globe are reacting to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The crisis enters its 12th day as buildings are destroyed and more than 1 million Ukrainians seek refuge in neighboring countries Poland and Hungary. One family stuck in the chaos overseas has newfound ties to Lexington. Georgia Ree Godfrey has more from a coach who's desperately trying to get home. Gigi. Even though more than 1 million Ukrainians have made it safely out of the country, thousands more are still waiting to be rescued and for the war to end. We spoke to an award-winning gymnastics coach from Ukraine stuck here in Lexington, who despite the war going on at home, still anxiously waits to return home to be reunited with her family. When the war, war broke out, I already understood that I would not be able to come home. Home, a city in Ukraine on the Russian border. Unfortunately, last three days, there's no power. Very big problems with connection and through internet. The European rhythmic gymnastics coach was only in Lexington for vacation. Her Saturday flight back to Ukraine canceled. My entire family is still in Ukraine. My daughter, my brother, my mom, my father. And now a trip home seems unrealistic as Russia's invasion enters its 12th day. I understand how hard it is for them because the city where I live, it is under constant, constant um, shootings. There's a lot of destruction. Olga spoke to her daughter Sunday. Her family is on the seventh floor of an apartment building that's already been hit by bombs. But she says her family making it to the shelter is almost impossible. There's a place where you can go to the bomb shelter, but it's too far and my mom can't get there. She's too old and too weak. The airline offered her a voucher to change her ticket to April 9th, the soonest she could fly into Ukraine. I can only at this moment maybe possibly go through Istanbul. Even that route isn't guaranteed, so now she waits. She's hoping to see her family again next month, but praise is not at the expense of Ukraine's freedom. I don't even want to think about this. I hope that this will never happen. She was supposed to fly to Ukraine on the 5th and be in Kyiv on the 11th. She's a judge in the Duragina Cup, which starts on the 13th.